Welcome everyone to another classic book dive in. Today, we're going to explore the strange case of Dr. Jekyll and Mr. Hyde, a story about a respected scientist and his dangerous experiment that unleashes his dark side in the form of Mr. Hyde, written by Robert Louis Stevenson. As we delve into this thrilling tale, we will meet characters such as Mr. Utterson, Dr. Jekyll's lawyer and friend, Dr. Lanyon, a fellow physician, and of course, the mysterious Mr. Hyde. This story not only entertains, but also invites us to think about the nature of good and evil within ourselves. Part 1. A Mysterious Encounter Mr. Gabriel John Utterson, a lawyer, is intrigued by a sinister figure named Mr. Hyde, who is linked to his good friend, Dr. Henry Jekyll. Utterson learns that Hyde is the sole beneficiary of Jekyll's will, which deepens his suspicion. As a diligent and moral man, Utterson fears that Hyde is blackmailing Jekyll, given Hyde's vile reputation in the community. The story begins with Utterson taking nightly walks with his relative Mr. Enfield, where they discuss the enigma surrounding Hyde and Jekyll. This sets the stage for Utterson's investigation into the odd circumstances linking Jekyll to the malevolent Hyde. Part 2. The investigation begins. Driven by concern for his friend, Utterson seeks to uncover the true nature of Jekyll's relationship with Hyde. He encounters Dr. Jekyll in a state of distress, but Jekyll dismisses Utterson's concerns, asking him to trust him. This conversation only fuels Utterson's determination to protect his friend from Hyde, whom he sees as a threat. Utterson's journey to understand and possibly save his friend from ruin challenges him to face the darker sides of Victorian society and human nature itself. Part 3. A Dark Discovery Utterson witnesses Hyde's brutal violence firsthand and becomes more involved in the mystery. Despite the danger, Utterson feels a moral duty to continue, though part of him wishes to avoid the darkness that Hyde represents. This reluctance is overcome by his commitment to Jekyll's safety and his legal responsibilities. The more Utterson delves into the case, the more complex and disturbing the truth becomes, indicating that the link between Jekyll and Hyde is deeper than legal ties. Part 4. Unveiling the Truth After a dire incident involving Jekyll and a subsequent death, Utterson consults with Dr. Lanyon, another close friend of Jekyll, who reluctantly reveals alarming details about Jekyll's research. Lanyon provides Utterson with a letter to be opened in the event of Jekyll's death or disappearance, which hints at unimaginable horrors. This mentor-like guidance from Lanyon propels Utterson closer to the heart of the mystery, equipping him with crucial information that shapes his understanding of Jekyll's plight. Lanyon discloses that he had witnessed a shocking transformation where Jekyll turned into Hyde before his eyes, using a mysterious potion, which confirmed that Jekyll and Hyde were indeed the same person, a fact that deeply horrifies and perplexes Utterson. Part 5. Hyde's Dominion The situation escalates when Hyde's actions lead to a murder, causing Jekyll to sever all social ties and isolate himself. Utterson realises that Jekyll's transformation into Hyde is no longer under control, if it ever was. Jekyll's withdrawal marks a turning point where Hyde begins to dominate, symbolising Jekyll's losing battle with his inner demons. This pivotal moment shows the irreversible step into a world where Hyde's evil is fully unleashed, deepening the narrative's exploration of the duality of man. Part 6 the final struggle. As Hyde becomes increasingly powerful, Jekyll fights a losing battle to keep his darker half at bay. Utterson, along with Jekyll's butler Poole, confronts the reality of Jekyll's situation when they break into his laboratory to find Hyde dead, having committed suicide and Jekyll nowhere to be found. This section underscores the themes of inner conflict and the dangers of unchecked scientific experimentation, as Utterson and Poole face the physical and moral dangers posed by Hyde. Part 7. Revelation and Sacrifice In the aftermath of Hyde's suicide, Utterson reads Jekyll's confession, learning about the experiments that led to Hyde's creation 
and Jekyll's tragic struggle. Jekyll's narrative explains how he sought to separate his darker nature to live freely as Hyde, without consequence, only to lose control. The revelation of Jekyll's intentions and actions serves as a cathartic moment for Utterson, who gains a deep understanding of the perilous line between good and evil that Jekyll crossed. Part 8. A New Understanding The story concludes with Utterson reflecting on the dual nature of humanity, having witnessed the catastrophic results of Jekyll's experiment. He recognises the complexity of human morality and the dangers of violating natural laws. The community is left to ponder the morale of Jekyll's downfall, while Utterson, chained by the events, carries forward a deeper, albeit sombre, understanding of the human psyche. Conclusion Reflecting on the strange case of Dr. Jekyll and Mr. Hyde The strange case of Dr. Jekyll and Mr. Hyde serves as a profound commentary on the battle between good and evil within us all and the consequences of our choices. Through the thrilling and sometimes terrifying journey of Dr. Jekyll and Mr. Hyde, Robert Louis Stevenson invites us to reflect on our own moral compass and the complexities of our identity. As we leave behind the foggy streets of Victorian London, we take with us the lessons learned from Jekyll's tragic experiment and the timeless insights into the depths of human nature.